Hello, my name is Mr. Fitton, and this time I'm wearing a different hat to engage you even more deeply. Um, the Halifax disaster, as you've just written about in your notes, was actually a moment in Canada where the war finally hits home, and it hits home hard. Many Canadians, they've heard stories. They might have seen people come back. They might have had sad letters from the front, but they really can't experience it until they experience it themselves. It's like if somebody does something like cuts themselves, you'll probably go, oh, that, that must be bad. But until you actually get cut yourself, until you've engaged, you know, had a car accident, until you've had it happen to you, it's very difficult to know what it's like. So in uh, 1917, on December 6, a cold, blistery day in Halifax, if any of you have been there, a boat carrying 200 tons of explosives called the Mont Blanc, which was a French ship taking munitions to the war, was hit by a very ironically named ship called the Emo. So the Emo hits the Mont Blanc. Uh, over a period of time, it kind of stays there, and then all of a sudden it blows up and it actually levels Halifax. Halifax, one of the oldest cities in Canada, think about how long it's been there because it's so close to Europe. All the settlers came there and then moved westward. Uh, is only about 100 years old. It was flattened. It was devastating. The video we watched in class showed how horrific it was. Men, women, children were all, all killed. And this really made people think in Canada, this is what, what horrific war looks like. Uh, this is what the boys are experiencing at the front. This is how terrible it is. Um, so it really showed ordinary Canadians. This is what the war is like. We've got to win this. We've got to support it. Uh, we've got to put all of our materials and our hard work towards it because this is the battlefield. This is what it looks like. So the Halifax disaster uh, pulled Canadians together in many ways to realize this is really horrible what's going on.